Hello! Today we are going to talk about peer-based learning for English language learners, specifically at the Olean campus. To begin, we're just going to briefly mention a couple definition of terms. Uh, this includes English language learner or EEL. <clears throat> These are students who are not proficient in English, but they are developing their English skills. It's kind of used as a basic umbrella term. Next is English language instruction or ELI. This is a grammar-based study that colleges focus on. It's actually what JCC focuses on, and it just really places emphasis on the fundamentals of English. It was to first evaluate what services JCC offers, examine what possible services we could implement, implement the research, and then review the success. Evaluate what JCC offers, ELI classes cycle at the Jamestown campus. We offer several classes, English Language Instruction 1, ELI Culture Communication Workshop 1 and 2, and these classes cycle every semester. Uh, we have seen that ITV is available upon request, specifically at the Olean campus. We also have really flexible professors that will sit down with EL students, help them understand the terminology and language of the class, I actually witnessed a professor give an EEL student a dictionary to help them further understand some of the specific definitions in the class. And of course, we have learning center assistance. You can book an appointment with a tutor and they can help you with their coursework. Next, we're going to examine why and how PBL works. And what PBL is, it stands for peer-based learning. Peer-based learning places an emphasis on structure and incorporates partner group work activities. It helps build confidence and furthers communication skills among eels. It teaches them to adapt to American customs working with their native English speaking counterparts. And it helps create social bonds and safety nets. They, these eels now have someone to go to with questions and if they, you know, if they need help understanding something. And we see friendships being formed. You know, now they go out into the community together. They go to the movies. They go to restaurants. They go to the gym together. And it can give eel students a reason to keep pushing because they have someone their own age to kind of fall back onto if they need help. We're going to talk about literature review, learning English at school, how do eels and peers teach each other. This is an, anal an analysis provided by Professor Amanda Kibler, a professor at Virginia University. And the goal of the analysis was to determine how classroom interactions can affect identity and interpersonal experiences in adolescents. And the research speaks to the fact that Eels are struggling in the classroom, but with appropriate resources and means, native English speaking students are able to help better integrate their eel counterparts. And through processes of PBL, eel students become more integrated into the classroom. And even with their rich cultural backgrounds and different customs, eels are shown to expand the minds and interpretations of native English speaking students. So it's mutually beneficial. And so having a PBL system in place is beneficial to both EEL students and native English speaking students. And while this study specifically relates to adolescents, it can be further interpreted into higher education. The other side of my research was going into elementary, middle, and high school ESL classrooms at Fredonia. I spent the majority of my time at an ESL classroom with Suzanne Knowlton, former JCC professor. ESL stands for English as a Second Language, kind of interchangeable with Eli. Um, and, and basically, the, the time I spent in her classroom, which is kind of the home base for EEL students, I got to see how beneficial the interaction of native English speaking students and EEL is. They all kind of helped each other, they all played off of each other, they all learned from each other. Then I got to spend some time in an English classroom with both native English speaking students and EEL students. I got to see the benefits of, of small group work and peer-based learning. And finally, I actually got to tutor one of the EEL students. I am a certified tutor. I have my CLRA tier one certification. And so that student was actually in ISS that day, but it gave me the opportunity to kind of sit down, implement some of my research, and it just confirmed that PBL does work. Peer-based learning at JCC. I implemented these resources into the Learning Center by working with an EEL student two to three times a week. We actually created a really strong bond together. 
Um, we got to help further understand the communication beyond the classroom. Not just her classroom, but I got to understand more too. I learned stuff about myself and it was just a really eye-opening experience. At the end of the day, if you don't take anything else from this presentation, take this. That EEL students come from all sorts of backgrounds. They can be immigrant students, they can be refugee students, they can be international foreign exchange students. They have all crossed mountains, some figuratively, some literally. These students will touch your lives. They will teach you something about yourself and, and the, the patience that you can draw from that. And, and finally, at the end of the day, we have to teach everyone no shame. There's a lot of stigma regarding immigrants in this country. And, and teaching, having the opportunity to teach eels that your name is your name, correct people when they pronounce it wrong, and teaching, getting to learn about their culture and teaching them about American culture, and just being able to further develop their understanding of the country was just really rewarding. Thank you so much for listening.